<laughs> so we want to take whatever your rib is, mm -hmm. fold it in half, cross mark the center back with a piece of chalk, or you can snip it, it's up to you. You want to take the two together, the front, overlap them. This is for a woman, right over left, for a man, right over left. So when you stitch it on, it's already going to be prepared to go the way you want it to finish. Then you just want to take it and stitch these two together, whatever your seam allowance is. Okay. Ours is going to be a quarter of an inch. So yours may be uh, half an inch, whatever it is. Mm. And we want to stitch whatever that is. Go to the center, lead the needle down, lift the foot up and turn it quarter, quarter. Exact amount. So I had this other one already ready to go. So we want to take these. You want to do your stay stitch right into your center. We want to take these and line them up exactly at a quarter. What you use it, pin it in place. And then you want to take the center back that you have cross mark with your chalk. Mm -hmm. Of course, did nobody do that one? I need you all to mark all the cross marks on them. Fold them in half. And then take that cross mark and line it up at your center back, which you had notched. Pin those two together. Those are the only two you really need to pin together. So if you were doing a rib knit, this this is rib, but it's going in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So usually it's going this way. You would make it a little bit smaller so you can ease it in. So we want to start right at that very center where you not put it right here so you can see it. Right there, or it'd be right in your center. Since we're going to pull that out, and our seam allowance a little smaller because that came out too far, we started right there at that intersection. Do not back stitch. Just put the needle down in that spot and then sew. So this you want to fit from here to the center back. I need to take this and flip it through. To check and make sure everything is lined up correctly before you start sewing. There we go. Take that and line it up to that center. And we just sewing from here to that center. So yours, in, in any case, you may be stretching the rib to ease it in. But this is made to fit in perfectly. Keep these two lined up together. The seam is always going toward the back. You're going right up to that notch. And if you have a clip there, you can always back stitch it to it, make sure it don't come loose. Then this is going to continue the same way. Seam allowance toward the back. We're lining these up. And we're going to come right back to where we started. You want to be careful to make sure the needle go exactly where you started. Lead the foot down, the needle down. Lift the foot up and turn it. And you make sure you stitch right across where you just started so we don't back stitch. It's coming back to the exact same place. A few stitches, snip it, and when we flip it out, it's gonna come to a exact point. See, it's exactly mm -hmm. to that point. That's, what That's you easier, that. right? Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> let me show you the other way. If you wanted to do a v-neck on your rib, mm -hmm. a v-neck. This is crisscrossed, it's still a v, but it's crisscrossed over each other, mm -hmm. right? If we wanted a regular straight v-neck, 
we would start out with these two together. Find your 45 degree angle, right? Mm -hmm. You can mark it with your chalk. This end, my flat end. Stitch mm. these two together. So we got our true 45. Flip these back. Then go do the same thing, quarter inch, quarter inch. Line the two points up together, and then you're gonna get your V-neck one. That's way easy. <laughs> How about that? Way! All right, so like a pro, like a pro, right?